Hey, oh, the name's Trevor, and I'm going to be playing Shadowrun Returns. Specifically, I'm playing a player-made campaign called Corvallis Part 1. For those of you who don't know, Shadowrun was a tabletop RPG conceived of in the 80s that's set in the far-off distant future of about 40, 50 years from now, give or take, in which gargantuan corporations that have come to be known as Megacorps, which kind of sounds like a fusion between Cannibal Corpse and Megadeb, sounds pretty fucking metal, actually, in which megacorps basically rule the world. And with these megacorporations came cybernetic technology, technological implants into the human body, and absolute squalor for everyone who wasn't working for those corporations. Yay! An awakening also occurred in the past of this universe, in the far-off distant past of 2012, in which magic becomes real and the metahuman races arise. They are basically your standard gamut of fantasy races. Elves, dwarves, orcs, and trolls. Also dragons. Dragons exist in this universe. One of them was president once. I'm not even kidding. Alright, so gonna be a dwarf decker here. The decker is basically a hacker. Let's see points into let's see let's see how much decking gets me all right pork a uh, chance to hit oh yeah okay that looks good confirm uh street etiquette i guess all right and for a name well for my dwarf board girl I think the best name I can think of is uh, Morgan Freeman. There we go. That should do it. So, this is, a, like I said, this is a custom made campaign, and it kind of starts you off in. It kind of starts you off in the present and then goes into a flashback, kind of structured the same way the main campaign goes. Overall, this campaign is alright. It's got some amateurish mistakes, but otherwise it's pretty good. Also, I am definitely a dwarf cyborg woman. See that? See the implants? Cyborg. Apex runs a hand through his hair. He still looks shaken. That was too close. It looks like we got here just in time. The whole building's on lockdown. Check out that crowd gathering outside. What? Uh, you mean those three people over there? Some night, huh? He brightens slightly. Ha, ah, yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. There's a few, like, amateurish mistakes in the dialogue. Not one I'd like to relive anytime soon. Anyway, I suppose we had better get upstairs and report in. You're gonna have to tell White what the situation is. Wait, I'm gonna have to tell Mr. White? Oh, man, he's gonna tell me I'm gonna have to cook. And then tell me he's the one that knocks on the door. He grins t lopsidedly at you, the fresh scar on his cheek twisting painfully. You're the executive li- I Really? I'm the executive liaison? It's your job to deal with the suits. I just kill stuff, and I think we've done quite enough killing for one night, don't you? Yeah, I hear that. Be Even though I'm a dwarf cyborg woman, I'm pretty sure I'd have my fill of killing. So let's get up there and do what we came here to do. All right, let's uh, let's go talk to Mr. White. Yo, Mr. White, something went down, man. I I don't know what the fuck, fucking alchemy and shit. Except no, magic is real in this universe, so I suppose alchemy would be apt. Clicky. So yeah, I have the dreaded task of having to talk to my boss about something that happened on the job today which i'm not gonna find out until flashback like in the main game but hold it right there this is a secure floor i'm gonna need to see some id but all right here you go buddy here's my id echelon four huh you guys just got back from that secret mission didn't you yeah that that's right phil that's where we came back from. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't ask, don't tell. I, I'm pretty sure you don't know what that means. Okay, then. Go on through. Alright. 
Now I go through here. Man, this is riveting. In all seriousness, the in all seriousness, this is actually a pretty well-crafted campaign. The secretary smiles warmly as she speaks. Long years of practice making the fake gesture come as naturally as if it were genuine. Wow, that's a pretty good description of, well, virtually any business interaction ever. Good evening. I trust the executive security detail outside didn't give you too many problems. Oh, Echelon 4, I see. Yes, apparently that's important. Mr. White has been expecting you. Uh-oh, no period at the end of Mr. He's just finishing up a teleconference. You kicked up quite the hornet's nest, didn't you? Please, take a seat in the reception, and he will see you shortly. All right, not gonna cause any fuss. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, yeah no problem. I'm just gonna go over to the waiting room over here, and sweet Jesus, that's a big troll. Hello, Trell. What are you doing here? This troll might have be one of the biggest you have ever seen. Well, certainly the biggest I've seen in this game so far. His huge frame is clad in black armor, which is studded with cruel-looking metal spikes. Man, those metal spikes, they always withhold charity. That cannot be in line with company regulations. No, shit. But you get a feeling that he... You get the feeling you don't want to be the one to point that out to him. Nope, I'm not gonna. He narrows his eyes, throws the magazine that he was reading down on the table, and gives you a predatory grin as you approach. He is reading good housekeeping. Echelon 4, is it? Do I know you? Wrestled you in high school? He laughs. No, but you will. I'm the one they call when things go wrong. And things have gone very, very wrong tonight, haven't they? Hmm, know what you're talking about? Seriously, I don't. I don't even know what's going on yet. Oh, actually, I do. I'm sure you don't with no apostrophe in the don't. Well, either way, ellipses, we will meet again sooner than you might think. But first, go have your little chat with Mr. White. Is it like a... Is it like a coding quirk that they couldn't include punctuation in some of the words because it would mess with the script? Mr. White, we'll see you now. Please, go on through. Oh man. Now I have to be the one who knocks. Hey, you're not Brian Cranston! The CEO stands and stares through narrowed eyes at the crowd assembled upon the street below. The corpsec forces down there are strained, barely able to hold the mob back from storming the lobby, and he knows it. Look at them. Animals. He turns to face you. Well, what is our situation? You begin your debriefing, telling- I'm gonna start my debriefing, telling Mr. White- Holy shit, what the fuck happened? Earlier tonight, a rundown slum district, far from the metal and glass of Sarpon's office. Hey. Hey, Dave. What's up? Talk to me, Dave. Why would you talk to- Okay. Apex pulls back the bolt on this SMG and grins at you. Ready to play the hero again? The package is in the slum somewhere. My guess is that red brick down the road. The bad news is that the meat wagons here stirred up a bit of the hornet's nest when they arrived, so now the friendly locals are out in force. The good news is that Aesri is clearing the street from the east, so we don't have to deal with all of them at once. Oh, hey, you put in the apostrophes. Good. Also, Aesri. I'm not sure that's a real name, but okay. Have we got any information on the mission? The boss has reason to believe that the mm, package is being held in this slum. This whole area is scheduled for destruction soon, and so long as they remain in possession of it, then our bulldozers can't roll in, which is where we come in. We are the bulldozers. Exactly. Search and retrieve. We get in, get this mm, package, and get out. Then the grunts can finish up behind us. A few homeless and some junkies shouldn't pose my... Ah, shouldn't pose much of a threat, although I must admit they look better equipped than you do right now. Forgot your gear again? Well, being the compassionate dwarf Borg woman, I was worried. You think there are any unarmed civilians left in there? I don't want a repetition of what went down in 51. Whatever happened in 51. I think this is supposed to be 2054? I'm not sure. You and me both. I can still see those poor people's faces. Sometimes. I can still hear the screams. Anyway, it's hard to say. 
places like this, most people are packing some kind of weapon, but chances are that most of those who would be unwilling to fight us will already have left. So only the troublemakers remain. Oh, well, that's reassuring. Either way, though, you will need a weapon and some gear, even if it's just to look intimidating. Ooh, roger that. I'm really hoping that intimidation will win the day. Why don't you leave us alone? I have no idea what this other person is saying because it's blocked out by the text box. Okay, what do I want here? Well, the assault rifles served me pretty well before. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the assault rifle. It's pretty good. Also, I got a thousand yen. Yay. Or new yen, I guess, because it's new and shiny. Stay back, pig. We're armed. Whoa, dude. I mean, come on. I may have weight issues because I'm a dwarf, but there's no need to be fucking hostile. Just put your weapons down, man. This doesn't have to be violent. It wouldn't be violent in the first place if you didn't keep coming in to demolish our homes. Blah. We would rather die than stand by and let you bastards just su- Uh-oh, typo. Take what you want. Okay, time for combat. Combat music. Ow, crit. Ow. Bullets, they hurt. Why? Ow. All right, Dave, I'm gonna, gonna head over here. All right, mark target. There we go. That should improve your aim. Oh yeah, there we go. So yeah, this game has turn-based combat, which is Depending on how you look at it, turn-based combat is either really good for something based on a tabletop RPG or really silly for it. On one hand, the turn-based combat is more reflective of how a game would actually be played. On the other hand, it sometimes leads to kind of, well, shall we say, questionable logic. But in this game, they kind of handle it pretty well because it doesn't seem like they're just waiting around to get shot. It just seems like you're kind of examining everything that happens and... Oh! Ow! Fuck! Baseball bat to the back of the head. That probably should have taken me out. Oh well. Healy thing! Yay! Now I'm gonna shoot you a little bit. Hope that's okay. Okay, so this guy's in front of me. Just shoot him. Oh, balls. I have to reload. So yeah, this game does do a good job of check, um, evening out a lot of the quirks of turn-based combat. Yeah, take that. God, people are just so fucking rude. They just don't know how to treat a dwarf board girl anymore. I mean, you could have just put down your weapons. We could have talked this out. Now I am dead. Do I have any one of those? Yeah, I do have one of those. Okay. Oh, balls. I can't use it yet. Oh, well. Might as well just shoot you a little bit. That's right. You run away. All right. Go over here and bring me back up. I'm kind of dying. What was that? <laughs> what were you even doing? Were you, is that a swing at me? You know, just, just stay down for your own sake, please. All right, good. Well, that was certainly something. Uh, who's that? Is that Isri or whatever her name is? I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up to her. Hi, Isri. I'm Morgan Freeman. My voice isn't nearly as musical as the guy whose name I sound like. Isri Sox Quinn. Oh, that's just fucking adorable. 
A young elf emerges from around the corner. Magic flickers across her fingers, but she slows down a jog when she sees you in Apex. Lowering her arms, she smiles. The rookie socks. That's an awesome underground shadow running name. This end of the street is secure. Not much resistance to speak of. You must have drawn most of the fire. Apex grims and slipped his new clip into the SMG. Good to see you, rookie. Looks like this is our target. Hopefully all the ruckus we kicked up here won't... Uh-oh. No apostrophe. Man, this like... I'm not sure they know... Let me tell. We attracted too much attention outside, but I doubt it. We'll have to move fast before the scum decides to cut their losses and dispose of the package. Takes a quick glance around the building's exterior. Looks like there are two ways in. We can go in the front with the door with all guns blazing. That's always good for keeping the hold hard in shape. Or we could try the side doors. Chain fence never kept us anywhere, out of anywhere, right? Socks cuts in. Depends if you want to go in by stealth or by force, I guess. Well, I'm more inclined to deal with stealth, but this seems like a place where I've got to stop. So, about this game, what do I think of this campaign? It's... it's alright. It, it's got it's got a few amateur mistakes, but the story really does pick up and it's pretty well crafted. It feels like an actual tabletop campaign. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.